that's a big trout right oh, there. That's a beauty. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Woo! Man. Look that's that a fish. trout right there. Look Come back here fish. with me, Hollywood. Woo! Get it. You can get you some of that. That trout was pulling like wow. a snooks. And look, the hook just fell out. That's a look at the ivory. the size of that head. That's a big fish. Today's Sportsman's Adventures, Captain Rick Murphy and our special guest, Costa Del Mar's Chaz McDonald, have traveled to Florida's famed Treasure Coast to meet Captain Mike Holliday for some springtime snook fishing. Don't be fooled on this spectacular sunrise. It's actually a cool and windy day in May, the kind of day when some guys might just stay home, but guys like Mike, well, <laughs> he has a game plan. It's going to be pretty, man. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. We should be in it. Even with this wind, um, you know, this late in the year, the fish will be there. So we should whack them pretty good. And hopefully, we can, you know, when we get on the club, we can find some of those big trout that are going to go. The trout are spawning, too. So they get mixed in with the snook. Everything's focused on, on the mullet. The mullet are out on the flat, and, and the snook and the trout are focused on those mullets. So they're in there. They're feeding. We've got pilchards, which are easier for them to catch the mullet and have a higher fat content than mullet, so they really want to eat them. Wow. So, yeah, we should have some pretty good action. It should be real cold. We, you know, if, if uh, all of those big concentrations of this year, we should see a lot of bites on top. It should be real pretty. I'd say you got a bite, bud. Here we go. Go ahead and lift your rod there, and I'll grab him for you. All right. All right, we got a clean one. Yeah, look how pretty clean. this fish is. Thank you for grabbing him in the belly there. It's so important, as you know, to support the way those fish, when they're out of the water, the weight of them, you know? Pretty snook. All right. I would that's say the bite is that's on. That's the standard model right there. there. Okay, we just want to supersize them now. Exactly. Put him on some steroids. They don't have a check on uh, this business over here. All right. Got a good, good release job. going. You know, Chaz Stewart is a great place to catch snook, whether these little ones or big ones. The month of May, if somebody wants to come here and catch a snook and go with Mike Holiday, it's really the great time of year right. to come. All it takes a little effort. A little perseverance. This is the best place uh, on the whole coast right now. That's right. You know the cheapest thing about this whole trip is the bait. Why don't you get you another one? I'm gonna load up. All right, I'll take one too. Go, Rick. I don't know. Oh, oh that's yeah. a nice snook. Look that's at him amazing. out there, Chaz, dancing. Here comes some boat wake. Headed to the trees. He was surfing in those wakes. I'm gonna give you some room here. <clears throat> We're okay, I'm over the top of you. If you want to just reel in, that'll yep. work. Hang on, Rick, here comes Stay right ice. here, Chaz. Come back here, you can help me land this one. <clears throat> nice snooky. Oh. He might be dinner, Rick. Huh? He might be dinner, it's open season. Now you know, Mike, the FWC is always managing the fisheries, as you know. As it stands right now, here we are in the May of 2000, and there's still 2007, and they're talking about looking at the snook fishery again. So, you know, by the time this show airs, there's no telling whether the season will be open in 2008 in May for the Atlantic. Yeah. Well, but I tell you, I was glad to see him go to the pinch tail, because I think... It made the slot smaller, but it certainly is going to be helping the fishery, I oh, think, for sure. Right you know what? We've always had a really strong fishery over here. Right. Really strong. Probably the, probably the best in the world. But it, more and more people are learning about it, and more and more people are moving to Florida. More and more people are fishing every day. 
and the fish are just getting a tremendous amount of pressure. How do you like that uh, one? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the FWC for looking at it. We're getting yeah. there. They're not afraid to say, hey, the fish come first. No, and that's what those commissioners do best. They are able to recognize that the growth of the state of Florida. Go ahead and put him back, Chad. Put him back. Don't, don't want to him up. Thanks. All right. But the growth of the state of Florida is certainly, you know, has to be considered whenever you're talking about management plans. I got a bite, Chad. I got, got a real bite, room. buddy. Plenty of room. Bring it around. Ooh. Stay There's on somebody the on here. Nice fish. Hey, Chad, why don't you come over here and tell me some stuff about these Costa Del Mar. What are some of the things that Costa has planned for the anglers out there in the future? Well, of course, you know, we've recently done the uh, 580 mirrors, Rick. Right. That's just getting out there right now, and it's been a oh big hit. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's a big thing. trout. It's a, I'm going to back off. That's a huge trout. Give the net. Here's the net right here, Chad. Take. Gonna open it up yep. all the way, pull the handle Sorry, straight right back. in the corner, Rick. Cool. Go easy Push on Push that button. Here, just scoop them up right here. Gotcha. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Now that's a big trout right oh, there. That's a beauty. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Man. That's that a fish. trout right there. Look Come back here fish. with me, Hollywood. Woo! Get it. You can get you some of that. That trout was pulling like wow. a snooks. And look, the hook just fell out. That's a look at the ivory. the size of that head. That's a big fish. Wow. These fish are spawning right now, too, so they're, they're all full of rope. You look, see how thick she is in here? <laughs> She's full of rope. That's not all bad. That's a fish, brother. That's not all bad. She's probably uh, 10 and a half. We'll call her 12 if you want, as long as you don't bowl the gripper. <laughs> And you know, by the time I get back to Miami, by the time you get done shooting the pictures, be 15. <laughs> That's the best thing about fishing. You can make it look 13. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you got, Chad. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rapala, your best shot at a world record. Williamson Lures, when it's all on the line, make sure Williamson is on yours. Maverick, fish the legend. Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. Humminbird, clearly, simply better. Yamaha redefines offshore power with the world's first V8 5.3 liter four-stroke outboard. Born and bred for the open sea, it's an all-new class of outboard power. Its unparalleled 5.3-liter displacement delivers massive power and thrust, proving it's not just about the horses, it's how you turn them loose. The F-350 V8 four-stroke from Yamaha, redefining your expectations again. a little more to make it out here. It's about guts, standing up to the elements, and quietly doing the job when others have long gone home. It takes Riptide, the toughest, most corrosion-resistant trolling motor ever built. When your reputation's on the line, hang it on Riptide, only from Minn Kota. I've been fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen a 180-pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait. And I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. I've seen a lot, and a lot has changed except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical polling skiffs, high-speed backcountry skiffs, and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick, or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. 
Go fishing and make Florida a better place to go fishing. When you buy this great looking license plate, you support the programs that make Florida the fishing capital of the world. Programs like fish stocking, lake restoration, and research. You can be part of the great work being done around the state. Just ask for the Go Fishing Florida license plate at your county tag office. Remember, when it's time to renew your tag, it's time to go fishing. For the past 25 years, Costa Del Mar, a Florida-based company, has earned a reputation for making the best, high-quality, high-performance sunglasses and sporting gear available. Costa Del Mar sunglasses provide fishermen and other outdoor enthusiasts with the latest technology and eyewear. Along with their commitment to excellence, Costa Del Mar has made a commitment to conservation, positioning itself as one of the world's leading companies in promoting the protection of our environment. Costa Del Mar's primary focus is in eyewear, and we're lucky enough to have company president Chaz McDonald show us the latest. I know I get asked all the time, what is the right lens, what is the right frame for certain conditions? I think for your viewers, the thing to really remember if they're doing primar primarily inshore fishing, that would be uh, on the flats, in the lakes, inland, they would want an amber-based lens, a brown-based lens. Now, how many color browns does Costa offer? You've got four. Four. And the reason why brown works great is because it reduces blue light and gives you great definition in right. varying light, to, light uh, conditions. So, if you're thinking about uh, inshore, you're talking sunrise, vermilion, amber, copper without the mirror, or green mirror with a copper base. Those are your inshore assortments. So what else we got? And then, be, and then after that we have, uh, for, so that covers the, the inshore and offshore. We're basically talking about gray and blue mirror gray. And that's okay. going to give you the, the um, truest color definition. And of course everybody's familiar with the Costa offshore, offshore blue. All right, now I know that we have a new thing called the Sea Mate. Explain to people what the Sea Mate is. All right, the Sea Mate is for guys like me, really, who have, um, who st really are starting to need some, uh, some eyewear enhancement. These have a bifocal uh, feature at the bottom of the lens. And this is, uh, this is our amber lens. Right down there. Right down here. Comes in a 175 and it comes in a 250. And I think that spread pretty much covers most people who use optical readers. So if you're the guy at home that needs a reader to uh, you know, find out what's on the TV and the TV Or to tie his hook on tie like the hook. here in the book. And that's exactly the purpose uh, why we brought this out. And we put it them in our most popular styles. And again, we provided them for the uh, offshore person in gray and the inshore with amber. All right, Chaz. Well, I got to tell you, that's certainly going to make everybody's choices for Father's Day or even Christmas a lot better for the ladies to help us get the right pair. All right. Thanks for all the toys. You're welcome, buddy. Make sure you leave that box with me so I'll take good care of it for you. I've already lost it. Lost sight of it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for being okay. here and doing this with us. Let's catch another fish. Another looking bite. Yes, sir. That looked good. That's him. The snook or a trout? Like it is him. I think this is a small snook. It is? Yay! That was a cool bite. Yeah, it was really cool. That, you know what's so really cool is look at the size of that bait that that snook tried to eat. That's yeah. what's cool. You got to like that fish strictly for his attitude. He chased that bait to the top, you know. Yes, you he did. Come up. And and they eat them on top like that. It's like fishing a top water plug that swims for you. You know, when you got those little kids, you got a three-year-old at home now. Just a few years ago, Mike, when you'd feed him with the bananas uh, that the kids used to like, the little jarred bananas, yeah. you get that same smacking <laughs> sound. That's what it reminds me of. Thanks, Chad. Go. All right, even the little ones will support. Absolutely. Since he gave us a little bit of a his time today. Buddy, I like your attitude. You're go. trying to eat something a third your size. They're, they're born to do that. Ready to go? All ready. All right. Let him go. Let's go, buddy. All right, we He's got him. On. He's on. We got, got him, Ted? He's on, Ted. We got a double. He's on. Ooh. <clears throat> what you got, man? I don't know. It might be that tarpon again, or the... Uh, the snook again. He's pretty 
He's pretty easy, though. Must be a small one. Must be a small one. What you got, Chad? Got a, got a little snooker. Hey! Now that's what I'm talking about. I'll help you. <clears throat> Don't reel him through the top. Give me a little... Open the bail. I got open the leader. Bail. Open the bail. Bail's open. Good. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Now that's a nice fish. That's not bad. He should probably have a pilchard in there from the last... You think? I'm looking. Maybe. Maybe it was his brother. Get that hook out. There he is. Look how long his the tips of his tail is. Mike, look how long the tips of his tail. See him? You pinch that tail. Let's see if we can make him good. <laughs> you might have a date with some peanut oil there, buddy. I'm going to get you back in before Mr. Holiday has any time whatsoever to think about that. Snoop Tacos. Nice job. Good job on your part. You the one that did all the work. Assist. All I did was give him a little something, something. All right. Good job, Holiday. Holiday. Fish, Mike. Thank you. Putting pothole bite. No, Got a Todd's, pothole bite going on. Todd's starting to get good, man. Dead. Oh, there's another one right there. Mike, tell me about these potholes. Are the potholes during just May and June and July good, or do you guys fish the potholes in the wintertime like they do over on the West Coast also? Uh, they're good all the time. I, I like fishing them in the springtime a lot because uh, we get those real strong tides, uh -huh. get those big moon tides, and it fills up with a lot of fish. When it, you know, if you look at a mile oh. and a half long, Damn. and when this thing, in, on a good moon tide, this thing will go dry. And all the fish on the flat will pour off into these potholes. You see that rookie move? I Sorry about that. that, buddy. I could have given I you a bigger assist than that Murphy. one. Killing me. You know what happened? Nah, you're just warming up. What happened is I became a spectator in a physical man's sport. I watched the fish swim literally underneath, and he cut me off on the trim tabs because I was sitting there talking about pothole fishing on the west coast when I'm over on the east coast. See, so that's what you get. When you ding dong, you get rewarded in ding dong ways. <laughs> oh, oh, Can you get him in that Hollywood? Yeah, 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 oh my God. This conservation minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Hey, I'm Captain Rick Murphy. Did you know the Florida panther is the official animal of the state of Florida? Florida panthers are very reclusive and rarely seen by people. They normally live in remote and undeveloped areas, but with the number of people moving into our state, there is an increased chance of running into one, literally running into one with your car. The FWC has documented 88 panther deaths due to collisions with cars since the early 70s. There is something that we can do to help save these beautiful animals. Slow down in the areas that have panther crossing signs, especially at night when the big cats are out and moving around. The FWC estimates that there is 88 to 100 panthers left remaining in the wild, so please slow down and give these panthers a chance. Contender boats, take it to the limit. Wherever you find fishing tournament winners, you'll find contender boat owners. First to the fishing grounds, first to the winner's circle. When you look for strength, versatility, and ocean ability, you find contender boats. Hand built, one by one, each and every one. Contender Boats is proud to introduce its new 23 Tournament Edition, the latest in true mid-size offshore fishing rigs. Contender is committed to providing outstanding quality and performance. Nothing else delivers. Expect the most. Contender Boats. Patented in 2000, perfected over years of testing and real-world punishment, the PowerPole is the ultimate shallow-water boat positioning tool. Swift, PowerPole deploys in seconds from anywhere in your boat. Virtually silent, PowerPole won't spook wary fish. Secure in strong currents or gusting winds in up to 8 feet of water. Engineered to take it with a lifetime unconditional replacement guarantee on the spike. PowerPole, swift, silent, secure. Visit PowerPole.com to find a dealer near you. Every second on the water is critical. So to get to the fish fast, I rely on Humminbird. 
Hummingbird's exclusive side imaging sonar shows me picture-like images of bait fish, schools, channel drop-offs, wrecks, and other structures. Navigation is easy and accurate with Hummingbird's advanced 16-channel GPS and optional Navionics Platinum charts. Finding fish or finding my way, Hummingbird is simply, clearly better. Yamaha redefines offshore power with the world's first V8 5.3-liter four-stroke outboard. Born and bred for the open sea, it's an all-new class of outboard power. Its unparalleled 5.3-liter displacement delivers massive power and thrust, proving it's not just about the horses, it's how you turn them loose. The F-350 V8 four-stroke from Yamaha, redefining your expectations again. Since I've retired, we get to fish more than ever. And although I've reached the age where I'm exempt from having to buy a fishing license, I buy one anyway just because it's a way to give something back. And all the money goes directly to managing our fish and wildlife resources through the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. It's a good thing to do. And who knows? It might even help my grandson here catch more fish. For more information, go to myfwc.com. I got a bite. You gonna catch something? It's a trout. Oh, that's a good trout. Nice Let's trout. Get the Clear's trout. Let's get the one hander or the netter. Coming at you. He's wallowing. He doesn't like you, Murphy. No. Nope. It's ugly. It's yellow. It had the oh, yellow that's, head. Extend the it net. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Oh, he jumped out of the net. Can you get him in the net, Hollywood? Can get him you in just the net? get the fish for me? Oh, my God. <laughs> that net not big enough for you? Can a man get a little help with a net job? Oh, man. Is that the first time you netted a fish? This week? <laughs> yeah. Is it Murphy? I got a bite. Uh, I dig like it. A trout. A trout. That's the first one of the day. I gotta tell you, I like fishing with Chaz. You know, he's such a gentleman fisherman. It's not <laughs> like usually fishing with you and other guys that live in Fort Pierce <laughs> or more so Vero. Man, he gives you the back of the boat, he spreads out and gets over on the side. Gets a lot of room, helps you land your fish. <clears throat> Let's me land my fish. That's look, a flamingo trout there. But <clears throat> look how healthy he is. I mean, really, really healthy. You gotta like that trout's attitude though. Look, Mike, he's eating a bait the size, well, almost half his size. Yeah. But Good keep attitude. in mind that bait's got a lot of, lot of protein and a real high fat content, so. They want it this time of year. Well, I'm going to let him have that hook, you know, because it's so important. That fish is not a very strong fish when he's been hooked in the gut, so you got to let him have that hook. It'll rust out in no time. That'll work. Hollywood! How do you like me now, Murphy? I like you. I'd like you better when you put him over here right on this side of the boat. Let me see what it is that it is that you grass. got. It's a trout. Trout? It looks like a nice trout. Yeah, Do we need is. a net for that trout? Um, no, I want to see you reach over there. Reach. You want me to do the reach over? It's a nice fish. Chaz is getting that net it's for you. One of those thick, you know. Chaz is getting that net for you. <clears throat> Thanks, Chaz. Scoop, man. I could be one. signing oh, up with a marlin, boy. If Pudge Rodriguez, when he was playing, if he would have just called me, I could have hooked him up right here with the big stole master. Nothing would have got by. Oh, look at that fish. Look at the color on her. 
Nice trout. Good. How this is our this is our average Fort Pierce trout. That's an average Fort Pierce yeah, trout. Yeah, it's a kind you catch on on jerk baits like bass assassins. Uh huh. These are typical fish for this time of year. A lot of them. The problem he won't look how run into with a lot of our trout is that they're they're over the 20 inch minimum. You know, you know, you can only keep one. Is that right? If you're looking to catch one, keep one for the box and. Too many yeah, you almost got to call them some days. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, but he's not a two-hander. No, that's all right. You know, you know when they're big, <clears> when you try and grab them, you can't get your, your hand around his back. Exactly. You need two hands to get them, exactly. and you know it's the real deal. But it's a pretty that's fish. It's a pretty good yeah. garth, garth there. That's what a trout looks like. It's just getting a lot, a lot more lightness to its back. Because of the time of year? Yeah. Not the cold water? Yeah. All right, put him back. Chaz, don't go anywhere. Thanks for coming up here to Fort Pierce and Stewart, the Treasure Coast. Treasure Coast. Telling us about the coasters and the new things they got going on. Hollywood. Well, man. Always, when we get together, it's rock. Somebody shows up. Maybe smaller rocks than bigger rocks, but yeah. you know what? We always catch a fish. Good job. You put us on it. It was fun, Thanks man. Thanks a lot, man. Pleasure was mine. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at www.sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. <laughs> How you doing there, boys? Got a pair. <laughs> Man, if that doesn't want to make you get off the couch and call the phone number and come out here and fish with Mr. Chris, I don't know what will. Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by Contender Boats, Fish Hard, Hook and Tackle Sportswear, America's largest authentic sport fishing company. Don't leave shore without it. Float on trailers, there's only one real float on. Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure. Costa Del Mar, see what's out there. Screen Print Plus, when image matters.